and welcome to Kids Corner. My name's Mark and today we're going to talk about another of the stories of that first Easter day after Jesus had risen from the dead. On that day he visited his disciples and followers because he knew that they were confused and they needed help. And we're going to take a look at a very interesting story from Luke where two of his ordinary followers were visited by Jesus as they traveled from Jerusalem to a small village outside. The Road to Emmaus, loosely based on Luke 24, verses 13 to 35. Two of Jesus' followers were traveling to the village of Emmaus later in that day after the Jewish Sabbath. As they were walking along the road, they discussed all the events of that day. They were confused, excited, and scared. As they discussed the events, Jesus joined them on the road, but they did not recognize him. Jesus asked what they were discussing. Amazed, they said, are you a stranger who has only just arrived and have not heard what has happened? Jesus asked, what things? So they told him about Jesus. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we had hoped that he was the one who was going to save Israel. And what is more, it is the third day since this took place, and this morning our women amazed us. They went to Jesus' tomb early to finish his burial and could not find his body. They came back and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the women had said. Jesus looked at them and said, How can you be confused? Have not the prophets foretold these events? Did not the Christ have to suffer these things before entering his glory? Then Jesus started with Moses and took them through all of the prophecies, explaining what was said in the scriptures about the Christ, that is, himself. As they approached the village, Jesus acted like he was going to continue further along the road, but the followers pressed him to join them for the evening meal. Stay with us, they said. It is nearly night. So Jesus went into the village with them. At the evening meal, Jesus took the bread and broke it. And as he gave it to them, the followers finally were able to recognize him. As they did so, he disappeared from their sight. They immediately got up and hurried the seven miles back to Jerusalem. And when they found the disciples, the disciples were exclaiming about Jesus having appeared to Simon Peter. Then the two Emmaus followers told how Jesus had appeared to them and explained all the events. I really like this story because it features very ordinary followers, like me or you, who were confused and really needed Jesus' help to try to understand what had happened on that first Easter. Just like you and I sometimes need him to understand things. Okay, let's have a prayer. Jesus, thank you for being with us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for the Bible and thank teachers. Thank you for the Bible and teachers. Who can help us to understand who can help us to understand. Please help us to find answers when we're troubled. Please help us to find answers when we're troubled. Bless our family, our teachers, our, and our friends who help us. Bless our family, our teachers, and our friends who help us. Help us to help others. Help us to help others. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Kids Corner. I hope to see you again.